and it's just amazing how you know they're able to, you know and even outside last night he was kept lunging himself at Sydney and Sydney was starting and and they usually do this week two once the dogs have had some obedience training under their belt um, they start uh, my dogs start interacting with them but prior to that they um, my dogs will avoid them because they just don't have the doggy etiquette it's really amazing how um, they uh, um, you know how that develops yeah, so, but anyway, yeah, so this afternoon then, you know, Miss Shelby, she can come and um, play with Ollie, and we can maybe take him outside and um, play flirt pole. Well, I mean, I guess when whenever you have your, you know, once you have your, um, your, you know, you're done with your, your babysitting, or, or I can come get her, whatever's more convenient for you. Okay, I see what you're saying. Well, the, um... Yeah, well, why don't I, why don't I, um, what I can do is, why don't I come, come get her after, um, Ollie's nap, and then, you know, probably between two and three, come, come get her, and then, um, and then, uh, do, we could meet, I can bring her with me to the school when I pick up Alexander from football practice, and we can just tra trade dogs at the school. Oh, no, they don't have practice today. It's the day after the game. I forgot. Oops. Well, then, in that case, I'll bring her home around 5, or, or you can come get her, whichever. We can discuss that. And um, then, you know, she's played with Ollie. Um, this afternoon and to go from there. Okay? Sounds great. Alright. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye.